Hi, this is Chris from AvarAbove.com, and today we're going to learn more about a subject that I find fascinating, and that is nitro infusion. So stay tuned. Nitro infusion is one of the newer culinary techniques out there. It was only pioneered about four years ago by a gentleman named uh, David Arnold. He's actually the director of technology for the French Culinary Institute, and He's uh, also the gentleman that brought us um, the technique for clarifying lime juice. So he's a really fascinating person and, and he brings a lot to our industry. Um, so there's a lot of information on the techniques of nitro infusion. But the one thing that I haven't been able to find and uh, some of the information that is the most pertinent to us is how do these techniques, these new techniques, differ from some of the tried and true tr traditional techniques that we've utilized in the past? Um, so if you've been watching uh, our posts in the past, you realize that we've already kind of done some of these traditional techniques for you. The simple syrup video with mint, we've already done that a couple weeks ago. And the infusion with lemon, we did uh, just a few weeks ago as well. So we're going to use those past experiences as our baseline as we move forward and kind of discover, you know, what are some of the benefits and drawbacks of nitro infusion and how does it differ from the traditional techniques. And the principles of it are pretty pretty easy and straightforward. So in this one here, we're going to make a mint syrup. So I would add this mint to the canister, which already has a simple syrup in it, lock it down, pressurize it. Um, then we're going to evacuate the chamber just by pressing this lever here. And then it's um, the area, the surface area around the mint is actually going to begin to boil. Not boil like it is on a stovetop, but you will definitely see some foaming action happening around there. Now that foaming and uh, the what we call boiling is actually what's extracting all the flavor, and that's a theory anyways. Um, so there's definitely information out there on this process. The thing that I'm most interested in about is how these techniques actually differ from some of the traditional methods that we've done before. So yeah, let's just uh, let's have some fun. Let's get into it and let's, uh, let's get our learn on, shall we? So this one here is our mint simple syrup, obviously. Uh, this one here is the traditional method. This is the new nitro infusion method that we just explored. So uh, it's going to be super sweet, but this one's for science. It's exactly how I remember it, um, that bright wriggly spearmint gum flavor. And that one actually reminds me more of the um, floral quality of the lighter uh, simple syrup that we made um, in that video. Much more floral, um, definitely get that mint presence, but it's a lot lighter than even the floral video that we made. Um, it's a cool technique, but it doesn't have that punch, it doesn't have the aroma that the traditional mint simple syrup does. Um, I do like the fact that it is a different color, um, but I think that the lack of flavor would definitely hinder me from using it for simple syrup. All right, here we go for lemon infusion. Um, this one here, as I said before, for science, uh, is the traditional lemon infusion with vodka and thyme. Good lemon flavor, really balanced. Kind of takes the edge off the, the vodka. And now let's try the new technique, the nitro infusion. Um, I do like the color of it a lot more, much lighter and paler. The one thing I did notice when I was pouring it out is that you didn't see the oils uh, like you did in the traditional um, infusion technique. But here we go, let's try it. Hot. 
a lot hotter. The, lo the lemon doesn't come through as much. Um, it's a lot more of the, a um, little more on the bitter side, um, and the balance is nowhere near the same. Um, it's a cool in a hurry technique that uh, you could use, but the difference between the two are pretty drastic. They're night and day. Um, but maybe uh, what we do in, a, in the future is do some different studies. I know one of the variables that we can use is more time. Uh, the other thing we can do is more substance or even go down the road of doing a higher proof alcohol to see if that helps with the extraction. Um, but for me, the, uh, the traditional method of uh, flavor extraction definitely surpasses the nitro infusion here, and the difference is pretty drastic. Um, so yeah, not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's still a valid experiment and some interesting information. So there you have it. We've done our side-by-side -side, um, comparisons now. We've tasted through them, and for me, there's a huge difference between the traditional method and the nitro infusion. The traditional method just delivers a better product at the end of the day. Um, so plan ahead. If you're going to do it, let's do it right. And let's get the best product forward that we can. Um, the nitro infusion definitely is a lot of fun. You have a new gadget. It's a little bit of a wow factor. But for just pure quality product, the traditional method is still the way to go, for me anyways. Um, so that wraps up episode number 24, and uh, we have something pretty big planned for episode 25, something I'm really excited about, and I definitely don't want you guys to miss it. It's going to be a lot of fun. So until then, have a great shift, and cheers. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, find us on Google+, or visit us at abarabove.com. That's pretty cool. Neato Torpedo.